Hello friends, we guys of Dental Study Made Simple channel are here to give you a clear and brief understanding regarding dental study about which we are sure that you guys can go through it even the day before your exam which gives you the exact summary of the particular topic. Now let's get started with our topic. Today I'd like to discuss regarding zinc oxide eugenol cement which is the topic of dental cements in second year. I am going to deal about the introduction, types and available forms, composition, setting reaction, manipulation, ways to alter the setting time, physical properties, biological properties, advantages and disadvantages, the clinical applications and modified materials. To give you an outline of the topic, zinc oxide eugenol is observed in three forms namely zinc oxide eugenol impression paste, zinc oxide eugenol cement, zinc oxide eugenol filling material. But now we will deal only about zinc oxide eugenol cement. Zinc oxide eugenol cement was introduced as a cement in 1858. Major advantage of this is it causes less irritation to pulp of all the cements. It is easy to handle and can be manipulated even in the presence of moisture. Types Zinc oxide eugenol cement is divided into four types based on clinical applications. Temporary cementation, long term cementation, temporary filling and thermal insulatory basis and intermediate filling. Available forms. Zinc oxide eugenol cement is formulated as powder liquid form and two paste system. Composition. The composition of the powder contains 69% of zinc oxide which acts as a basic ingredient, white rosin which contributes to 29% of the cement which reduces the brittleness, zinc stearate that is 1% which acts as an accelerator and plasticizer, zinc acetate that accounts for 0.1% which acts as an accelerator and aids in improving the strength. Trace amounts of magnesium oxide are also added. The composition of the liquid form contains 85% of eugenol with remaining 15% of olive oil which acts as a plasticizer, Eugenol is an organic liquid or chemical essence of oil of clouds. It is a weak acid, a phenol derivative and a pain reliever. Setting Reaction Zinc oxide on hydrolysis forms zinc hydroxide that is, water in the eugenol hydrolyzes the zinc oxide to form zinc hydroxide. The reaction is a typical acid-base reaction in which eugenol is an acid and zinc hydroxide is a base. Here water acts as an accelerator. This is an autocatalytic reaction. The chelation reaction involves reaction of two molecules of eugenol with zinc hydroxide to form eugenolate. The chelate formed is an amorphous gel that tends to crystallize, imparting strength to the set mass. Structure of set cement The set cement consists of a matrix of zinc eugenolate that binds unreacted zinc particles together. Setting time is 4 to 10 minutes. The setting reaction is slow but proceeds more rapidly in a warm and a human environment. Manipulation Powder to liquid type Powder is measured and dispensed with a scoop. The liquid is also dispensed as drops. Powder to liquid ratio is 4 is to 1 to 6 is to 1 by weight. A glass slab and a cement spatula are used for mixing. The mixing process first incorporates large increments and then smaller increments until the desired consistency is obtained. Two paste system. The luting cements are generally available in two paste systems. Dispense equal amount of both paste, that is accelerator and paste, on the glass slab. The paste are of different colors and mixing is done till a uniform color is obtained. Luting consistency. 
The consistency for luting is such that the cement pulls out into a string when the flat surface of the spatula is lifted or raised from the mixed material. Temporary Restoration Consistency The mixing is done with a high powder to liquid ratio until the mix attains the consistency of a dough that can be rolled into a rope. Such a proper mix can be condensed well in place. If too little powder is used, then the mix becomes sticky. If too much powder is used, then the mix becomes crumbly. Surgical Pack A thin consistency is mixed with few cotton fibers to increase the strength and durability. Tannic acid is added which acts as a hemostatic agent and chlorhexidine is added to provide antibacterial action. This pack is then placed on the surgical side post-operatively which relieves pain and provides comfort to the patient. Factors affecting the setting time Particle size Smaller zinc oxide particles set faster. Powder to liquid ratio Higher the powder to liquid ratio, faster it sets. Addition of accelerators Addition of accelerators like alcohol, glacial acetic acid, and water makes the cement set faster. Cooling the glass slab. Cooling the glass slab slows down the reaction. The set can be retarded by addition of glycol and glycerin which acts as retarders. Physical properties. Compressive strength. It ranges from low of 3 to 4 megapascal up to 50 to 55 megapascal. The compressive strength is lesser than zinc phosphate cement, though reinforced variation of zinc oxide eugenol can withstand amalgam condensation. The long-term cements used for looting are not as strong as compared to other looting cements, but they have been clinically useful for looting processes. The short-term looting cements are weaker, which is desirable for temporary crown needing removal. Tensile strength it ranges from 0.32 to 5.3 MPa. Modulus of elasticity. It ranges from 0.22 to 5.4 GPa. Thermal properties. Zinc oxide eugenol cement is a good thermal insulator. Solubility and disintegration. The solubility of the set cement is higher among the other cements. Eugenol can leach out from the material leading to hydrolysis and disintegration of the cement. Hence, these cements are mainly for temporary usage. Adhesion They do not adhere to the enamel and dentin. This is one of the reasons why they are not often used for final cementation of crowns and bridges. Zinc oxide eugenol cement provides an excellent seal at tooth restoration interface. The lower the powder to liquid ratio, the better is the seal. Zinc oxide eugenol cement is opaque and white in color. Biological properties The pH is 6.6 to 8. Hence, pulpal responses are mild. Effect on the pulp It is least irritating of all the cements. They have the soothing effect on the pulp. It causes minimal micro leakage. Higher concentration of eugenol is toxic, hence it should not be directly used on the pulp. Advantages and disadvantages Advantages It is least irritating. It has a soothing effect on inflamed pulp. It provides excellent thermal insulation when it is used as a base. It is easy to remove and clean when used for temporary restoration. Disadvantages it does not adhere to enamel and dentin. It cannot be used for permanent cementation and it is highly soluble among all the cements. Clinical Applications It acts as short-term and long-term luting agents. It acts as a root canal sealer. It helps in periodontal coating. It acts as an impression paste, cavity base, temporary and intermediate restoration and surgical pack. Modified materials. In order to overcome the shortcoming of zinc oxide eugenol cement, few modifications have been done to improve the strength and reduce the solubility. Polymer reinforced zinc oxide eugenol. It was introduced in an effort to increase the mechanical properties of zinc oxide eugenol. The powder is modified with the addition of resins or hydrogenated rosin.
Liquid has polystyrene or methyl methacrylate which results in the good strength, improved abrasion resistance and increased toughness. It is used as a luting agent, temporary filling material and as a cavity liner. Ethoxy benzoic acid and alumina modified zinc oxide eugenol cement. Composition. The powder consists of zinc oxide which accounts for 70% and alumina which accounts for 30%. The liquid contains ethoxy benzoic acid which is 62.5% and eugenol which is 37.5%. The properties of ethoxy benzoic acid and alumina modified zinc oxide cement are better than unmodified zinc oxide eugenol cement. The compressive strength is increased to 55 megapascal. Tensile strength is 4.1 MPa. The modulus of elasticity is 2.5 GPa. The solubility and disintegration is 0.05% by weight. Non-eugenol zinc oxide cement. It is suitable for patients that are sensitive to eugenol. Carboxylic acid and other chemicals are used to react with zinc oxide. Eugenol acts as an insulator for free radical polymerized materials. Thank you. I hope you guys are clear with the topic. If you want the PPT of this topic, please do comment below. If you guys like the video, please do like, share and comment. And please do subscribe to our channel Dental Study Made Simple.